They say you should never judge a book by its cover. Well, Cam Floyd, who is chairman of the Georgia Farm Bureau Young Farmers and Ranchers Committee for Douglas County, is one of those books. His cover, the tattoos, say nothing about his love of farming and agriculture or that he even considers himself a farmer. But he is, and a good one at that. And those tattoos, at least some of them, paint a picture of why he became one. You know, I think my biggest thing for tattoos and who I am is I don't really blend in into certain environments. Um, and that kind of helps to my favor, to my benefit, uh, as I'm able to walk through and actually be heard and be listened to because I'm not who that they expect to walk in the door and, and to just talk about agriculture and things. Um, and so for my, for my story, it definitely lends to who I am as a person now. Um, my tattoos have, have grown and developed over the years uh, into different, different styles. And uh, it kind of, we, we say my, my, half my body is completely different. One is kind of black and white as like my past. And then going into the right side of my body is all full color. Um, and I kind of purposely did it that way. And to understand the man and leader Cam has become, it's important to know a little bit about his past. His youth was a troubled one. He was in and out of group homes and by the age of 17, found himself facing the challenge of a lifetime, fatherhood. That's when Cam says he buckled down, eventually landing a job at the Cracker Barrel in Noonan, Georgia. Turns out that job as a dishwasher would lead to a successful career in the culinary and restaurant industry. I don't know, I took it serious and wanted to grow and was started to see that even though the paychecks were minimal, they were able to take care of, of me and my son and, and was able to pay my bills and still be in high school at the time. And I moved up to prep cook, I moved up to line cook and then line lead. And, and then I discovered, well, this is something I'm good at. Like, why not continue to try and develop this? I'm, I'm happy here, I'm good at this. At least I think I was. <laughs> um, and it was just something that came natural. I'll say. These days, Cam is the culinary director and partner at Sue and Sue Restaurants, a group that owns a wide variety of establishments, including Sweet Auburn Barbecue, both in Atlanta and now McDonough. However, it was that first job after Cracker Barrel where Cam says he became obsessed with agriculture and the farm to table concept. That place, Seren B Farms. That's where I met my wife. Uh, my wife is still there to this day and I just, I went there seeing this farm and this restaurant and I was like, it's just fine dining concept in the middle of nowhere in, in Chattahoochee Hills. And, and I, I experienced that they've got this farm. They've got these, these farm to table procedures. And so there's a lot of restaurants out there that are, that are farm to table, quote unquote. But in reality, we're not growing pineapple groves. We're not growing limes and those things here in this area, but there's amazing amount of agriculture and, and farmers in Georgia that I think my obsession has been, if you're a chef, you have the number one dramatic input and effect on these farmers in Georgia, you know? Um, but it's finding multiple farmers. We don't really have the, the landscape, we don't really have the footprint for one farm in Georgia to, to supply for one restaurant. Uh, so why not find five? They might all have different potatoes, but support all five, and you can have a potato from all five. You know, and so that's kind of been my mission is how do we find these small farms that are trying to make it and push them into agriculture and, and, and then into the restaurants. One way he's hoping to find those farms is through networking. And let me tell you, Cam's network is pretty extensive. He's active on social media, the legislative arena, school classrooms, and of course, his communications with young farmers throughout the state. In May of 2021, he and a business partner started a nonprofit called Maze Farmers Market, a platform with the goal of showcasing small farmers to the public. And if all that wasn't enough, Cam routinely hosts harvest days and farm tours, as well as something he calls the Homestead Series. That's also where Cam teaches the art and skill of processing livestock. This is more than just having 100 acres, producing a row crop or producing an animal, how can we focus on agriculture? How can we support these farmers? And I think that's my biggest focus is building a team to support those farmers that have 100 acres. 
Because a lot of times they're out there in the middle of nowhere in their own. They're on their own. They don't have as many resources or connections until they go to a farm bureau office, you know, um, or some of the other avenues they go through. And so that's kind of been my focus is not only do you not have to be a farmer with a full scale operation to care about ag, you can purely just involve yourself in any capacity. And you can start by assisting. And even if you're just, even if you just drive and bring them some seeds, that helps. Even if you can just speak up for them at a Publix, you know, at a Publix parking lot with another stranger. Hey, have you ever heard of this farm? You know, Love Love Farm is doing some amazing things. You know, those little small touches really build a bigger impact. And that's kind of what I'm focusing on.